um, my name is Narusha Shahdira. For my first question is, can Encik Fahmi tell us short description about OSC, which is One Stop Center, and in other words, what is OSC? One Stop Center uh -huh. at the local authority to compile all the comment and submission from the PSP and the technical agency. They, they call One Stop Center lah. Huh? Okay, yeah, so we'll proceed to question number two, which is uh, based on your opinion or based on your experience, what is the purpose of OSC in the overall, overall aspect itself? Deliver, uh, sir, your question is to make sure that the smooth delivery on the construction permit. They call construction permit. Lah. Smooth process ni, they call it construction permit. They call KM, plan bangunan, plan landscape, plan infrastructure, apa semua tu, dia semua ni bawa kategori Construction permit, permit pembinaan. Okay. I have a question. Okay. Uh, what is the current practice of uh, OSC in private sector? Is there any differences from government sector or it is just the same? Tak ada. Kita only government practice OSC. We are become uh, apa ni? Uh, uh, government become executor. We are applicant. Kita applicant saja. So oh. government are the one OSC. Dekat private dia tak ada OSC. So uh, what required by the government? which is OAC, we try to comply as much as we can, all the checklist, and then we pass to them. Okay, let's say, katakanlah, saya nak apply construction permit untuk buat service apartment kan. Nah, dia katalah, dia tu bagi checklist dia tau. Ni, ni, A, B, C, D, ni, 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 ni. Uh, then, dia orang, kita akan comply semua, uh, we we try to comply all the requirement tu, we pass to them lah. Tapi sekarang, they, they call sekarang OAC 3.0 plus, which is, uh, nowadays, ah, uh, we can just upload all the document to the our office saja. So that sekarang ni semua memang kena kena apa? Online, semua online. Hmm. Especially after the pandemic, ah, the online to become a uh, uh, apa ni? Become lagi lagi better lah. The government upgrade the system so that everybody can submit lah. Okay. Um, my question is um. What is the challenge that you face as a town planner in OSC, especially in terms of development planning? Kita tak ada problem sangat. Kita kita tak ada problem. Kita ada dua. Kita, I rasa problem. What government did, dah okay dah sebenarnya. Cuma kita ada issue on the, uh, uh, the OSC, no problem. But the they panggil stakeholders. Stakeholder ni tahu tak boleh? Stakeholder ni yang berkaitan, yang berkaitan dengan OSC. Yang yang di masalah dia, satu lah. Masalah OSC ni, OSC dah okay dah. Yang masalah dia adalah Jabatan Teknikal. Bila OAC trans transfer all the document to Jabatan Teknikal, satu, Jabatan Teknikal tak faham projek tu kadang-kadang. Jadi, dia tak komen, dia kata maklumat tidak lengkap, jadi dia reply macam tu. Dia kata maklumat tidak lengkap. Dia cakap macam tu saja. Ha, tu. Kedua, Jabatan Teknikal reply lambat. Uh, so, yang nombor tujuh, uh, ways to improve the professionalism of the planet in regard to OSC uh, which is on uh, submission plan. Improve ah? Uh. Ah. Saya pun tak tahu. Rasanya pegawai OSC tu kena cekal. <laughs> Sekarang ni macam ni. All the system provided hmm. by the government, I think is submission enough. All, this, all the procedure pun okay. So I would like to discuss briefly about OSC, which is One Stop Center, uh, according to an interview with Encik Fahmi. One Stop Center is that local authority to, to compile all the comments and submission from the PSP and the technical agency. Other than that, it set the application for planning, permission, building plans, it works um, and landscape plan of the applicant. So examine whether the development proposal received meet the basic requirement or condition posed by the PPP. The main purpose is to ensure that Malaysia stays globally competitive in the property and real estate sectors. It is an independent body that acts as a facilitator for the planning process for submission of plan at the local authority. Currently, the OSC form part of the local authority located in every state in Malaysia. The practice of one-stop centre will be implemented simultaneously by performing a uniform processing flowchart. All local authorities should set up an OSC to manage development proposals including planning permission applications, building plans and landscaping plans from applicants. In private sector, the government serves as an executor while the private sector as an applicant. Each development proposal submitted by the consultant on behalf of the developer to the 
The OSC Secretariat will register a complete application and take immediate action to distribute land-related applications to the land offices, application for planning permissions to the planning department of local authority while building plan application to the building department of the local authority. The Secretariat will also distribute the applications to the external related technical department for comments and views. My name is Shumada. I would like to discuss about the problem in OSC in the development planning for the private sector. According to the interview, the Prime Farmi said that it don't have a many problems that has been faced by them, but there is several issues such as first, it takes a long time to be processed, which is more than three months to get the feedback from the OSC. Next problem that the Prime Farmi said is the technician problem, which is come from the stakeholder, which they are not understand the whole project. When the planners send them the document and suddenly they give a feedback that the document are not complete and need to be complete. So it takes a time to get the project approval. That's all for the problem in OSC that faced by TPR farming. Okay, based on the interview, the challenge as a private sector in OAC faced in terms of the development planning is they did not give a commitment to the submission. This issue is on the stakeholder which have connection with the OSC. This happened on technical department which is uh, when the OSC submit all the document but they give a late response to the consultant. Sometimes they also did not understand the project. It will give an impact to the project. So the consultant need to follow up uh, the feedback a few times to the stakeholder. Ways to improve the professionalism of a sum planner in regard to OSC which is on sum plan. Based on the discussion, is to improve professionalism is the employee needs to more efficient because the system are good enough but it's not about the system but it's because of personal problem and that's all from our group.